The United States and China are locked in a fierce battle for technological dominance, a struggle that has far-reaching implications for the global economy and international security. The latest salvo in this conflict targets a critical sector semiconductors, the tiny yet powerful components that are the backbone of modern technology. These tiny chips power everything from smartphones and laptops to advanced weapon systems, making them indispensable in both civilian and military applications. The Biden administration has announced sweeping new export restrictions aimed at crippling China's domestic chip-making industry, a move designed to stifle China's technological advancements. This move represents a significant escalation in the ongoing tech war between the world's two largest economies, sending shockwaves through global markets and tech industries. The stakes are incredibly high, as the outcome of this tech war could reshape the balance of power in the 21st century. Semiconductors are the lifeblood of the modern digital economy, driving innovation and economic growth. They are also essential for military applications, including artificial intelligence, hypersonic missiles, and autonomous weapon systems, which are critical for national defense. The US government fears that China's rapidly advancing chip-making capabilities pose a direct threat to American national security, potentially giving China a strategic military advantage. By cutting off China's access to advanced chip-making equipment and technology, the US hopes to maintain its technological edge and slow down China's military modernization, ensuring that it remains a step ahead in this high-stakes competition. The new US export restrictions target over 140 Chinese companies involved in various aspects of semiconductor manufacturing. These restrictions are part of a broader strategy to curb China's technological advancements and maintain a competitive edge in the global tech industry. Among the most prominent names on the list are Naura Technology Group, Biotech, ACM Research, and Cycarrier Technology. These companies have been at the forefront of China's push to become a leader in the semiconductor sector. These companies are key players in China's efforts to build a self-sufficient chip industry. Their innovations and advancements have been crucial in reducing China's reliance on foreign technology. Naura Technology Group, for example, is a leading supplier of chip-making equipment, providing essential tools for the fabrication of semiconductors. While Piotech specializes in advanced packaging technologies, which are vital for the performance and efficiency of modern electronic devices. ACM Research develops and manufactures wafer cleaning equipment, a critical step in the chip making process. Clean wafers are essential for the production of high quality semiconductors. SI Carrier Technology, on the other hand, focuses on silicon carbide materials, which are used in power semiconductors for electric vehicles and other applications. These materials are known for their efficiency and durability. By blacklisting these companies, the US aims to disrupt their supply chains, cut them off from crucial foreign technology, and ultimately hinder their ability to develop advanced chips. This move is expected to have significant repercussions on China's semiconductor industry and its ambitions to become a global tech leader. The U.S. government's primary motivation behind these export restrictions is to safeguard its national security interests. This move is seen as a strategic effort to curb the technological advancements of a potential adversary. China has made no secret of its ambitions to become a global leader in artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and other cutting-edge technologies. These advancements are not just for economic growth, but also for enhancing their military capabilities. These technologies rely heavily on advanced semiconductors, which are the backbone of modern electronic devices and systems. By restricting China's access to these chips, the US aims to slow down its military modernization efforts. This is a calculated move to ensure that China does not gain an upper hand in military technology. The US Department of Defense has identified China as a pacing threat, meaning that its military capabilities are rapidly catching up to those of the United States. This has raised alarms within the U.S. defense community. The Pentagon is particularly concerned about China's development of hypersonic missiles, which are extremely difficult to detect and intercept. These missiles could potentially alter the balance of power in the region. 
These missiles rely on sophisticated guidance systems that require advanced semiconductors. Without access to these critical components, the development of such advanced weaponry could be significantly hampered. By choking off China's supply of these chips, the US hopes to maintain its military superiority. This strategy is part of a broader effort to ensure that the US remains at the forefront of global military power. While the new export restrictions are primarily aimed at China, they are also having a significant impact on US and global technology companies. American chipmaking equipment giants like LAM Research, KLA, and Applied Materials generate a substantial portion of their revenue from Chinese customers. These companies are now facing the prospect of losing access to a major market. Similarly, non-US companies like ASML Holding, a Dutch firm that manufactures extreme ultraviolet lithography machines essential for producing the most advanced chips, are also feeling the heat. ASML is currently barred from selling its EUV machines to China due to US export restrictions. The Biden administration is reportedly pressuring the Dutch government to expand these restrictions to include other types of chipmaking equipment. Section 5. Washington's rationale, national security trumps trade. The Biden administration argues that the new export restrictions are necessary to protect U.S. national security and maintain its technological edge over China. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo has defended the move, stating that we have to play by our rules and that the U.S. will not allow our technology to be used by a foreign military that is working against U.S. interests. The administration maintains that the restrictions are narrowly targeted and designed to prevent China from acquiring specific technologies with clear military applications. However, critics argue that the broad scope of the restrictions could harm American businesses, stifle innovation and further escalate tensions between the two countries. Section 6. Beijing Bites Back Doubling Down on Self-Reliance China has condemned the U.S. export restrictions as technological hegemony and vowed to accelerate its efforts to achieve semiconductor self-sufficiency. The Chinese government has long recognized the strategic importance of semiconductors and has invested heavily in its domestic chip industry. However, despite these efforts, China still lags behind the U.S., Taiwan and South Korea in terms of advanced chip-making capabilities. The new U.S. restrictions are likely to exacerbate this gap and could force China to rely on older, less efficient chips for some of its technological ambitions. Nevertheless, Beijing remains determined to close the gap and reduce its reliance on foreign technology. Section 7. A boon for American chipmakers? Not so fast. While the new export restrictions may seem like a boon for American chipmakers in the short term, the long-term implications are more nuanced. Cutting off Chinese companies from US technology could incentivize them to develop their own indigenous alternatives. This could eventually erode the technological edge that American companies currently enjoy. Moreover, the restrictions could disrupt global supply chains and lead to higher prices for consumers. The semiconductor industry is highly globalized, with companies from different countries specializing in different parts of the supply chain. Disrupting this delicate ecosystem could have unintended consequences for the entire industry. Section 8. The High Cost of Decoupling A Fractured Tech World The US crackdown on China's chip industry is part of a broader trend of decoupling between the world's two largest economies. This decoupling is driven by a combination of factors, including national security concerns, trade disputes, and ideological differences. However, this decoupling comes at a cost. A fragmented global technology landscape could lead to slower innovation, higher prices, and reduced choice for consumers. It could also make it more difficult to address shared global challenges such as climate change and pandemics. The US and China need to find ways to cooperate in areas of mutual interest, even as they compete in others. Section 9. The Long Game. U.S.-China Tech Rivalry. Reshaping the Future. 
the US-China tech rivalry is one of the defining geopolitical dynamics of the 21st century. The outcome of this rivalry will have profound implications for the global balance of power, the future of innovation, and the shape of the international order. The latest US crackdown on China's chip industry is just one chapter in this ongoing saga. Both sides are digging in for a long and protracted struggle. The US is determined to maintain its technological edge, while China is equally determined to catch up and surpass its rival. The stakes are incredibly high and the outcome is far from certain. One thing is clear, the world is entering a new era of great power competition with technology at the forefront. Yeah.